Yeah, welcome back to Hermitcraft Mod Sauce. All right, things are going okay here. I've been uh, doing a bunch of stuff here. I've got the uh, smell tree here automatically making... Oh, well, no, it's not going to do anything because there's a little bit of gold in there. Let me break that. For some reason, I put two stacks of gold into this machine, and it comes out with... It output... Oh, I don't remember how many blocks... Uh, a bunch of blocks, but it had 576 millibuckets of molten gold left in that container. And so, of course, that container is not going to do anything until I get the gold out of it. And I'll bet you with this one, it's going to end up having leftover molten lead. I'll just bet you. But, anyway... Got the lead processing. What else is in there? Molten silver to be processed next. And I'll bet you I come back to find a remainder of lead in there, and I'm going to have to move it again. Yeah, we'll see about that. Anyway, uh, a system still running. I now have six 64K modules in there. That's great. Excellent. Running into a little shortage in terms of nether quartz. Going to need a lot more nether quartz. The quarry brought in a pretty fair amount of uh, charged quartz. See, we've got uh, certus quartz. We've got some charged quartz. My new, that's after I've used some. We've got some certus quartz ore, which I should probably pulverize. And... One bit of nether quartz ore. Yippee yeah, yeah. You see, we're running low on it. I've got five blocks of quartz, but you can't make it into that. <laughs> At least not that I know about. Over here, I've been process. I've set this up. I run a power line straight down from this into the uh, power line from the lava thing down below. But that's a temporary measure, just enough to get it to run. So I made up some pulverized gold, pulverized silver because I need some Electrum. Now we got some Electrum blend. And let's go ahead and throw this Nether Quartz in there, pulverize that, and then get this Certus Quartz pulverized. Hello. Okay, that was act acting a little weird. So I've been looking around at my options, and uh, I got looking around at solar panels or solar generators. And this one looks like a decent one, except that uh, its one downside is that in order to make it discharge supply power, you have to apply a redstone signal. And if it's supplying power, it will not be charging. You can't do both at the same time. So I figured I could set something like some of these up and then rig them to a daylight sensor so that when the daylight sensor says it's nighttime, it stops charging, it applies a redstone signal, and outputs power to supply it. Okay, that's great. Wonderful. And that would probably even work. I may end up doing that initially, at least for a while, because I want to get away from the lava power. I've had to move my lava pump in the nether twice now, and... Uh, it's a real pain in the butt to have to go all the way out there and move the doggone thing, get shot at by ghasts, and have to deal with those blasted blankety-blank heat scar spiders and so on in the process. So I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I need to mix these with a stack of that with a stack of nether quartz crystals in a puddle of water to make myself up some uh, oh whatever it was uh, the, the fluix crystals yeah these guys that that routine to make the fluix crystals because the fluix crystals is the best way to get the fluix dust and you need that to make the cable and uh, a few other things in AE and so on. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, let's see, how slowly is this going? 
It's got 98 ingots and 8 nuggets worth of lead in there. And when it gets down to that 8 nuggets, wait a minute. I got a solution right here. All right. It's got 98 ingots and 8 nuggets worth. So if I take, let's confirm that. All right. One, two, no, 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 one. 98 ingots and 9 nuggets. 9 nuggets makes an ingot. And it takes 9 ingots to make a block. So when this all melts up and gets in there, my lead problem will be solved. Of course, it probably would be an idea to get a way to filter this thing so that it will only accept lead, have this one only accept gold, and have this one only accept silver. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that, but I can't think of what it is right off the bat. And that's a shame. It really is, but there you go. Anyway, so my solution to the nether quartz supply problem is going to be very simple. I take this, which I call my quarry kit. Everything you need to set up a quarry. And what I want to do is take that into the nether, go a few hundred blocks out away from the spawn area, and probably over towards where my nether quarry is, as a matter of fact, my uh, nether pump is right now, in that direction. And I'm going to set up that quarry, and I'm going to let it run in the nether. And uh, the one thing I won't do is I won't put the world hole thing in it. And what it will do is this very neat little thing of turning a vast area of the nether into dirt. Personally, I think that's an excellent idea. I've got a DSU set up here to receive nether quartz. So, I mean, uh, nether act the single most common thing in the universe you get from that place. And so on. So, let's see. Oh, that's right. There's other going on down here. Uh, you're familiar with this. The setup here for the molecular assemblers. This is working pretty good. The crafting unit setup. I, I had three crafting units and one 16K crafting device. So I made up three more 16K crafting processors and uh, another 16K storage for it. So there is guaranteed to be enough going on there. This mess is going to go away. This, uh, the mechanism medical energy confuser, I was putting together because of another solar possibility. And that was this thing, the advanced solar generator. Of course, you have to start with this one. Which you need these solar panels. You need these enriched alloys, which I was making. And energy things and all, all this crazy stuff. And solar panels, which is this. And more osmium ingots and enriched alloy, which is also made redstone and iron ingot and this infuser and so on. And yeah, it gets to be big time. So I ran out of the logic processors. I went in here and I switched this thing out so that it would make logic processors because I hadn't gotten around to getting another set set up. So I just switched out the one that made uh, calculation processors to make up logic processors so that it would be taken care of there. And anyway, I think the main thing I need to be doing here is uh, I want to focus on getting power taken care of. So uh, let's just look it up here. Uh, let's see. Okay, redstone energy cell. We need the energy cell frame, quartz glass. Electrum, that's what I had that made up for. I don't suppose this thing can make the Electrum. Let's see. Uses for Electrum does. Smelting, yeah, I know. Crucible furnace, yada, yada. Redstone furnace, induction smelter, fluid transposer, alloy smelter. Smeltery. 144 millibuckets of Electrum comes from one 
blend. Okay, and one blend makes one block. Interesting. Oh, yeah. 51 ingots. What I find interesting, though, the casting basin is accepting 144 millibuckets, which, according to what I understand, is one ingot's worth, and it's making a block. And I have a stack plus 17. No, I have a stack plus 40 of lead blocks. And you've already seen that they will divvy up into ingots. So, this sounds kind of cool. Major ore multiplication there. <coughs> Uh, excuse me, I had to cough. Anyway, okay, that's working good. We got a bunch of silver in there. I'm going to put in a couple of stacks of Electrum Blend and see what we get out of that. All right. So, once I get everything together, let's see. Oh, doggone it. No. Okay, energy cell, redstone energy cell, energy cell frame, a diamond, I got enough of those. No, not the hardened glass. Can we get uh, fused quartz? Alloy smelter. Alright, let's try... Enlightened fused quartz. Fused quartz, in other words, do quartz with glowstone. Yeah, I think maybe the hardened glass might be the better way to go there. Some pulverized obsidian and lead. All right, I'll end up going with that. I'm going to go ahead and make up a few more machines here. How much quartz do I have of the nether quartz variety? Not very bloody much. I got some nether quartz dust. Uh, oh, what was I looking for? Hardened glass. Yeah, eight obsidian and one pulverized lead. Eight pulverized obsidian and one lead into an induction smelter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting that together. Because that way I don't need the quartz to make it with. And uh, so on. So I'm going to take some time, craft up a machine or two, rig it up to actually work, and I'll be back. All right. Well, we're making some progress here, and... Part of that progress is me figuring out that, you know, I really ought to use the AE system. I've gone to so much trouble to put together. And so, with power coming into the bottom of these machines, I've got an ME interface on top. I've rotated it downward. And I've set a crafting pattern in here. One lead ingot, eight pulverized obsidian gets you hardened glass. I need to put another one on here that lead ingots equals pulverized lead and so on but what I need also is on the back there needs to be import buses and I'm out of the materials to make them with so I have loaded up my quarrying kit and I am headed off to the nether to set up a quarry that's going to get me nether quartz all oh, right, here we are, out here at the uh, drop-down from my pump station. And here's our quarry area. You can see on the one mini-map down here, down this way, in the lower left, lower right corner, that I've outlined a square area. It's four chunks square. And I think that'll be good enough to start with. Uh, energy enter quarry. Let's drop that down here. And now 
I've never really been sure exactly how these upgrades go onto this thing. I assume... that they go on like that. Let's see... Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that. Alright. Now we take the ender chest. Drop that down on top. And now let's see, we've got a lava barrel, drum, whatever it is. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now, liquid transfer node coming out of the barrel. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This chunk, not that chunk. Remembering that the ender quarry only loads the chunk that it's in and the chunk that it's working. So, maybe I'd be better off to put this stuff that I'm setting up in the same chunk that the machine is in. Okay. Now, liquid transfer. And a lava gen. And another one. Now these are the upgraded ones that uh, run quite a bit more here. Alright. Liquid transfer stuff. Clear some of that out. Okay. Alright, now. Energy pipe, the energy extraction pipe, a transfer node, and then some energy pipe. I hope that's enough. It probably would be if I put things together sensibly, well, wouldn't it? Alright. So, the energy transfer node. There. the right side. All right. And it is scanning. All right. These guys are filled up. They're producing. And it looks like it's sucking down the power pretty quickly. Hmm. There, that's set right now. It's filling the barrel back up. Good. Okay. So, let's see. It's mining where? 606 by 3796. No, it's not going there. It's going this other way. It's working down this way. Or perhaps the very opposite corner from where it started. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Okay. Go down here. Get around that. Because it's not one of those things you can walk through like a torch. 
you'll actually trip on that thing. Okay, it's working right at this corner. No. What was that? 603 by 37. No, 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 no. It's got to be down. Yeah. It's got to be down this way. 603. Well, there's the first sign that it's doing something. Dirt. Where there was netherrack. All right. Great. Absolutely great. Now, I am going to head back and see how things are going there, because it occurs to me, this flesh from Biomes of Plenty, there's a lot of it in this area, and I think I want to set up a DSU to catch that stuff, rather than fill the system up with it. So, I'm going to head back there and do that. Alrighty, it's all working. It's all good. Everything's coming in. I've got deep storage here for another rack. I've got another one I put in for these chunk of flesh things from Biomes of Play. That is just plain weird. Tell me, is there any use at all for this stuff? Well, wait a minute. Let's see what NEI has to say about it. You hover over it, hit U, and you go around the poison extract to get rotten flesh. You can make chunks of flesh. Oh, goody. I'm sorry, what is the use of that? And why would you want tons and tons of rotten flesh? Can we use that for anything useful? Player, a player feeding upgrade made with rotten flesh? I don't know about that. Hunger protection poppet? A zombie syringe? Oh boy. Okay, so there is indirectly a use for the stuff to make the rotten flesh you need for all those other things. Okay. Fine. We'll have to explore that at some time. I'm curious. Just morbidly curious as to what all that rotten flesh would really be used to end up doing in the long run. Anyway. Corey is pumping items into here. They're being sucked into the AE system really quickly. And we have plenty of storage because there are now seven 64k storage modules that will do nicely. Let's see how we're we doing for cores. Uh, 23. Well, it's going to take a while, but it is going to be mining out four entire chunks of the nether as long as the lava supply holds out. At least in this case, if the lava supply doesn't hold out, as in the pump runs dry finally, then uh, it won't be any problem with the quarry having stuff going all over because it will shut down and so will the AE system. You know, the AE system shutting down would normally mean the quarry would be overstuffed and going all over the place, but they're both running on the same power supply, so <laughs> that's not an issue. But... Uh, Believe it or not, this is what has been done here today. The very first steps towards moving towards some genuinely uh, independent, as in it doesn't require uh, moving a lava pump every few days to keep going solar power setup. Because I think in the interim, that's going to be the way to go. Until we get things going and get around to going crazy and making some kind of ginormous reactor. In the meantime, I'm going to babysit this thing for a little bit and uh, set up some things. Like, for example, I have to set up a fluid transposer and get ready to move something into something. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, the redstone, the liquid redstone that needs to be moved into redstone energy cells so that we can store power and that way we generate power we store 
what we're not using, and then when the doggone power supply goes dead, maybe the system keeps running for a while. Wouldn't that be a concept? All right. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here, and we'll get this thing going for real sometime soon, I hope. <laughs>